Okay, we're going to compare some of the different survival whistles. Uh, this one's a Tool Logic Survival Tool Survival Card. It has a whistle built in. This is the whistle from one of the Ultimate Survival Technologies uh, survival kits. It's just the whistle out of the kit. Uh, the complete kit comes in a, in a hard case like this. This is their deluxe survival kit. comes with some other survival items. We pulled the whistle out. Uh, this one is the Adventure Medical Kits, again, from a larger kit. This one comes from their old SOL kit, the first SOL kit they came out with just a few years ago. The next one is a Remington whistle we picked up at SHOT Show one year. Uh, I believe it's used for maybe training dogs or mostly it's a handout, a giveaway from Remington. It's a P whistle, so it has a, a P in there. Um, these can be an issue in the snow uh, because they can uh, freeze up. Uh, this one's basically the same thing. It's just an uh, OD color uh, bought from a, survival, uh, a surplus store for maybe under $5. last one is a dollar store rape whistle that uh, is just a piece of aluminum but has a pretty loud blast. So the first one I'm going to uh, try out here is the Survival uh, 2 from Tool Logic. This corner of the tool has a uh, whistle built in. Pretty darn loud, has a real high-pitched noise, so you can pretty much hear it over some distance. Uh, this one happens to have the built-in LED, uh, a knife here, and some toothpicks, and also has a flint and steel. This one is just a plain whistle. It has a hole on both sides. Um, I'm not sure if that's for the pitch or if it's to have a backup in case one side gets clogged, but it's a pretty loud whistle. This is from Ultimate Survival Technologies. <coughs> pretty loud, kind of a shrill noise. Uh, the next one is Adventure Medical. Uh, this one doesn't come with any kind of a rope, but has a place for it, a nice solid one. Real small, it's actually the smallest of the ones here. Uh, nothing to freeze up, and I'll give this one a toot. It's got two chambers also, and it sort of does that two-tone. I guess that's intentional. I uh, haven't read up on it to find out if that's an intentional or not. Uh, the Remington. Those sure are loud. They have a real, uh, I can hear a ringing in my ears after I blow this one. This one's not really the same, even though it looks the same. It has a much different tone. That one sounds more like a coach's whistle or what I'm used to, uh, like a police whistle. Uh, the last one here is this, uh, just a simple aluminum rape whistle. It's actually a dollar and it comes with it, a little cheap aluminum carabiner, but it's what I carry on my key ring, a black version of this one. It's pretty darn loud for a dollar. It's got a big hole. It doesn't take much to blow into it. Um, I really like it. Disadvantage is, of course, it can break pretty quick. Uh, it's kind of cold. Uh, we're out in the snow right now testing this stuff, and uh, it's kind of cold to put it in my mouth. Uh, otherwise, these are all pretty good whistles. Okay, here's another view. Uh, it was kind of hard. We tried videotaping it from down there, but we're standing up here on a rock with the whistles, and uh, we went down to that Jeep, which is probably only about 50 yards away, uh, to hear what they sounded like down there. Uh, Here's what they sounded like. Okay, the Tool Logic was the softest of the batch, um, the hardest one to hear from that distance. The loudest was the Ultimate Survival Tech. The Advanced Medical Tech came in a little louder than the Tool Logic, but not much. Uh, the Remington was the second loudest, and the Surplus and the Dollar Store were about the same. They were both better than the True Logic and the Advanced, but not as good as Remington or the Ultimate Survival. All right, so that's just, of course, our ears and our lungs, but uh, to give you an idea of where these whistles line up.